ഉരുണ വിണ്ടി കാണ പിൽപഞ്ചില കാണ വിണ്ടി കാണ പിൽപഞ്ചില കാണ വിണ്ടി കാണ ഒരണ വിണ്ടി കാണ ഒരണ വിണ്ടി കാണ പിൽപഞ്ചില കാണ വിണ്ടി കാണ ഒരണ ഇസ് ദ പെഷ്യൽ ഫ്രസ് ആൻഡ് The early days they used to eat warana, but this time they don't eat a warana because we became a ranger. Yeah, so we look after them. Just uh, warana, you know, coming from Mina Mina, Juru to Chanyingi, that date, just dancing place. The dreaming window then, there, you are, and keep going that way. Yeah. Warana is big, same size as blue tongue, but it's orange. Live with his family in one burrow. Your mum and dad look after them. Sometimes dad go out, look for the feed and make another burrow, come back. And they make one, one scat on one place. So there's different scat you can find next to the burrow. There's a big one, small one and the baby one. Yeah. We see when we look for Jalapa, we see Kuna on the side. That's we know that's Jalapa and Jalapa area, and we know it's Jalapa area. We don't burn it. We look after it. We do monitoring, camera, like two-way signs. But long time ago, they used to eat Jalapa, but now they're looking after it because it's a native animal, special animal. At Kirikura we got a Jukurba song about Blue Tongue getting jealous for Jalapa because Jalapa got pretty baby with nice pink nose and Blue tongue baby's got an ugly black head. When they danced the Jalapa song, my mum told me how to make the body paint from Jalapa Kuna, white part for Jalapa and black part for Lungkara, blue tongue. Other mobs have their own Jukurba story, like the Wadi Jakura story from the APY lands. The Great Desert Skink is a threatened species classified as vulnerable to extinction because it's disappeared from a lot of places that it used to live in. Its, it's range is contracted from the edges and it's, um, yeah, it's disappeared from a lot of places people used to find it. So it's now confined to only a small number of widely spaced locations through the desert. We're making a new recovery plan for the Great Desert Skink that's being led by Indigenous rangers um, through the Indigenous Desert Alliance. Um, we've been talking to rangers across the desert to find out what their priorities are for saving the Great Desert Skink and what sort of research they think would be most important um, for the recovery of this species. All our rangers getting together so we can look after Warana. Yeah, and making new plan out when we go out and to get together. All breeding, lots of little babies, if they all safe. Ranger looking for them. The cameras out there, elders leading the way for, you know, Learning young ones up. So we look at the salt lake near the sand dune, so we know where they are. Yep, but we need to pass knowledge to the other rangers as well. So we need more young rangers to come out with us so we can teach them how to look after them properly. We think that the reason Great Desert Skinks are disappearing is from too many hot wildfires burning away their spinifex cover away from their burrows, making them particularly vulnerable to predators, especially feral cats. So um, at some sites we've found really high levels of Great Desert Skink remains in feral cat scats and stomach contents. Big, when big, fire, big wildfire comes through, so what I want to say without spinifex, 
Sophia's cat will be getting them and the dingoes. So we have to do the little fire break next to the burrow so Warana can stay safe and the little family. We don't want to make a fire next to the pretty with a chakra is. We're gonna burn a long way from the Mura. Because they need protection too, you know? Don't destroy the Mura. We think the most important thing to do is to protect the key sites from fire, so stop the burrows being burnt. Um, and if fire does occur, it's really important to do feral cat control. We go out, look for the cat. That's gets the main thing that lit up all the water. When we see the cat track, we follow the cat, and when we get to the cat, we get it, so we can save all the water now. The rangers are doing really important work monitoring Great Desert Skink populations, but also managing fire regimes and controlling feral cats around some of these Great Desert Skink sites. Bring school kids too. We teach them kids, young ones, so they can learn. We take them kids there too, to teaching. Uh, cultural knowledge at here, Deer Cry IPA. Yeah, we took some kids out and saw them show the different tracks between Blue Tongue and the Warana. We take kids out so they can learn more about Warana and the Chukurba, so they can pass knowledge to, to, to the kids and the other rangers as well when they become a ranger. She teach me, my mother, and young people, young girls, I've been teaching again. Take the young girls and the elders so they can teach them how to dance and stay with that strong Warana song.